Now, all new tonight, the K2 overdoses on the New Haven Green made national headlines recently. And tonight, city leaders and neighbors came together to try and make sure this does not happen again. And now they are calling out one of the largest recovery centers in the state. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live from the APT Foundation. And Matthew, what exactly is the link here? Well, Aaron and Mark, the city says half of those who overdosed last month could be traced right back here to the APT Foundation, this recovery center. Now, the CEO disputes that. She says that her clients made up 17 percent of the victims. But regardless, what happened last month was not a good look for the city, and everyone involved wants to make sure it doesn't happen again. For many, the images of dozens of synthetic drug overdoses on the New Haven Green were shocking. During the incident that spanned days, more than 100 people were treated. Tonight, the Elm City is looking to move forward, and it started here at the APT Foundation. It's a privately run recovery center with locations in New Haven, North Haven, and Bridgeport. President and CEO Lynn Madden says her clients get personalized treatment, and some of it includes methadone. The person, on the, particularly on the front end of treatment, would come in each day. They would receive their medication. 7,900 were treated by APT professionals last year, but some alders have a problem with what the clients do after they leave. There's physical assaults. There's been um, incidences of, of a death and stabbing. After witnessing those episodes, Rodriguez says she needs to see APT do more when it comes to their role in the community. Tell me what care center allows individuals to leave the facilities not well. Madden says her clients are independent adults, and if they choose, they can go to counseling and group programs throughout the day. She says the mass incident on the green largely did not involve her clients. I can tell you definitively there were six of them that were associated with the APT Foundation. APT says it did reach out to those involved and ramped up their treatment plans. If a person who has diabetes eats improperly and sort of endlessly ends up needing acute care services, the Diabetes Management Center is not held accountable for that. What they do is they go back to the drawing board with the client. Now, Alders say that they were happy that APT met with them tonight. Madden says that that's been something that she's been doing with city leaders since 2014. The budget here at APT is $36 million, $5 million comes from state grants. That's the latest live here in New Haven tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel News.